eight steps to successfully publishing your own book step-by-step -step guide hey guys jr fisher here and i want to talk to you about books now most of us have at least entertained the thought of maybe writing a book one day but what if you actually could do it i mean the traditional way of writing a book was that you had to come up with an idea and write an entire book and send it off to a bunch of publishers and then those publishers would tell you how to change your book if they even looked at your submission and then if you got that far then you would have to negotiate what it was going to be worth and the small amount of money that you would get in return for it and it just wasn't a dream it was a nightmare it was a nightmare to write a book unless you had some big name it was really tough to get a book deal but all of that has changed you can now self-publish a book and in this video i want to walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do so that you can become successful at publishing your own book hey don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray and don't forget ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a new video all right let's get right into it let's go through all the steps so at the end of this video you're gonna know exactly what to do to be successful at publishing your own book okay let's talk about step one step one is write a book that people want to read okay this is really important i think a lot of us forget about that we have some idea and we say well this is my idea this is what i want to get out there but do people really want to read what your idea is it's fine to come up with an idea but that's just going to be the beginning of your research what you're going to want to do is go into the market you're going to look and see what books are already out there see what books are doing well which ones are new york times bestsellers which books are successful when you do that and you do your research and you see your competition out there it's going to guide you in what direction you need to go now you may look in your niche and see all this information but there's a piece missing a, a part of it that people haven't talked about and that may be the little kernel that you need of success to get you going so you want to do your research first make sure you're going to write a book that people are going to want to read number two do professional editing your book has to be edited professionally yes i know that not every part of your grammar is going to be perfect but you've got to try because you got to understand you're out there competing in the market with other books that are going to be similar to yours so you want to be as professional as you possibly can i totally suggest that you hire a professional editor and there's a lot of sites you can do that from but you know professional editing is really going through that book line by line by line so that the readability of your book is going to be really good and people will continue to read it which will make your book sell so let's look at some of the places you can go hire somebody to edit your book now the first place i'm going to tell you to look is readsy.com readsy readsy is a marketplace that helps match editors with potential book publishers and in doing so they can help you edit your book it's a great site to go to it's been around for a long time now and it gets good results so i would highly suggest you go there the next place you could go to is upwork.com uh, i've used upwork for years i really like it and you can find book editors there make sure you check references though since upwork is not necessarily a book editing site it is just a site with freelancers on it make sure whoever you've selected has some good credentials and some reviews that actually match up to them actually being able to do the job the next one I would tell you about is fiverr.com fiverr.com once again is another one kind of like Upwork um, but you can find book editors there but it's not just about book editors there's all kinds of different freelancers on that site so you're going to want to check out the individuals really closely before you hire anybody number three create an eye-catching and inspiring book cover oh my gosh book covers are so important I mean we've all heard the saying don't judge a book by its cover but unfortunately that's exactly what people do they do judge things by the cover so you've got to have a good cover now unless you're an extremely creative person and you know exactly how to do this I don't suggest you doing this on your own it doesn't cost that much to have somebody design a book cover when they do a really good book cover it could return itself a thousand fold so it's really important that you do this now you can go to some of the same sites i mentioned earlier you can go to readz you can go to upwork you can go to fiverr um, you can go to freelancer.com there's so many different places you can go to have this done but guys i can't impress this upon you enough it doesn't matter how good your book is doesn't matter how helpful it is none of that matters if you have a bad book cover and nobody wants to buy the book 
and step four is decide on how you're going to do your printing of your book now there's a lot of companies out there that do this however i'm going to recommend in this video that you use kindle direct publishing uh, kindle direct publishing is a branch of amazon.com and at the time of this recording they owned about 50 percent of the self-publishing market so they really know what they're doing um, as far as the amount of money you can make generally you're going to get about a 60 percent royalty um, they do have a calculator on their site to show you how much you will make i'll put that on the screen here all you do is pop in what kind of book it is number of pages all that good stuff and it will calculate about how much you're going to make based on the price of your book now the only downside to using kindle direct publishing is that if you're selling ebooks you have to sign an exclusivity contract with them so it can only be sold on their site now the printed version of your books which amazon can also do for you you can buy those and you can sell those on any site you want but it's just the ebooks that can only be sold on amazon now you can also have yours printed through lulu and integrate it through shopify um, that is the main integration for ebooks online with shopify and you can go to their site and hook that up and sell it that way if you want and number five is formatting your book correctly this is really important guys you've got to get this right um, you have to have your title pages right your chapter pages all your margins um, there's a lot of help online i'll put a link in the description as to how to format your book so you can kind of read about that but this is super important that your book is formatted correctly or it can't be printed number six is launch your book just like a product launch this is really important guys that people know about it they understand your book they can get some samples of it and the best way to do this is to set up a web page now you can do a very basic web page but you want to make sure when they come to that web page they have a way of opting in to get them on your list so you can remarket to them if they don't buy the book you want to have the about us page and about the author type page and maybe a few sample pages they can actually read of the book and to continue on they're gonna to have to click a button to actually purchase the book so it's really important that you have some resource page like a web page that they can go to and buy your book or get more information about it step seven is market your book on social media this is so important guys get out there on your Instagram your Facebook your LinkedIn whatever pages you have in social media and start talking about your book hold up your book so people can see it if you're doing videos take pictures of you and the book talk to people who do podcasts try to get on podcasts and talk about the book you know these interview shows need people to talk to on a regular basis so when you contact them with your idea if you contact enough of them you will get interviewed views on your book so it's really important to do that you're gonna to have to do a lot of the legwork keep in mind you've decided to self-publish so you don't have a publishing company marketing your book for you which they don't really do that good of a job anyhow but the point is you're gonna to have to do all of this on your own so make sure you're prepared to do so and you work hard at it and step number eight you're not gonna like this you're not gonna like this at all start on your next book that's right as soon as you finish one book it's a good idea to start on the next one because that's going to keep you on a roll and the more books you have out there guys the more reputable it makes you look the more intelligent it makes you look it, it shows people that you're a professional at this and this is what you do i know people who have literally written hundreds of ebooks uh, i met a guy on one of my trips and he literally makes a living off these ebooks because he's done hundreds of them on all kinds of different subjects and he's known for that these little how-to books now your book may not fall into that niche but the point is the more you publish the more you get out there the better off you're gonna do I've already done a couple ebooks and some printed books and I got to tell you my wife has too. I got to tell you it's a great thing it's a great thing to have out there it's a great calling card if nothing else when you meet somebody give them one of your books it doesn't cost you hardly anything and if you give them a business card they're pretty much gonna throw it away you're guaranteed to that but they can't throw away a book for some reason even if they don't read it they'll probably have it on their desk somewhere and they'll see it and they'll remember you so having a book is a really great idea I hope this helps you out you still may have some questions on the subject and if you do do me a favor put it in the comment section below I love to get you questions I love to have your input so if you just want to say hello or whatever you'd like to do put that in the comment section below in addition to that I have a free course below it's a $97 course but for a limited time it's limited you can get it for free just click on the link in the description below no credit card is required guys thanks so much for watching this video i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet please do so let me give you a second here to subscribe and in the meantime i will show you a picture of a really cute little bird see there look at that
isn't that worth subscribing for all right thank you so much for subscribing don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or if i upload a video i appreciate you watching the video and i'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel